Hello and welcome to another KC Coding tutorial. Today I'm going to just show you uh, very broadly and generally how to navigate in Picasa. So uh, Picasa, just to start off, is a photo managing program so it can keep track of all the photos on your computer and uh, you can use it to keep track of all of them. Uh, it's, uh, it's nice because you can sort things by date, you can sort them by different events, and uh, you can actually even sort them by people's faces, which is quite handy. So I'll, um, first thing we're going to start with, really, is uh, this uh, bar right on the side. Uh, this bar will help you navigate uh, every, to uh, different photos in Picasa. Now you might not have some of these things uh, currently because they show up as you begin using them, but uh, the two things you should see is uh, folders and albums. Now um, under albums you might have something that says recently updated, that's just an automatically made album and that automatic album uh, just uh, is filled with uh, photos that are uh, just recent photos. So uh, photos that you've either uh, taken from your camera recently or photos that you've downloaded from the internet recently. And uh, let's see, under folders here, you can actually see specific folders um, on your computer that uh, hold photos. So if I go to Easter, I can see uh, my family photos from Easter. And wallpaper, I can see all my different kinds of wallpaper. So now uh, the interesting thing about Picasa is uh, what it does on the main viewer, you can uh, you can scroll through and see different folders. Now, of course, you can just do that using your scroll wheel, or uh, you can actually uh, now. The neat thing about Picasa is that if you want, you can scroll through everything uh, using this scroll wheel, uh, sorry, using the scroll bar on the side, or you can use your scroll wheel. Now, this will scroll through different photos, so you can see absolutely everything. And then you can also, if you want to skip around quickly, you can look through the folders here, and you can click on individual folders. So uh, give that a try. Um, maybe just pause the video quick. Um, give it a try going through different folders and looking for different, uh, looking for uh, different sets of folders that are on your computer. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you albums. So um, just back to albums. We've already seen the recently updated. Now you'll notice there's a little green book there. That means that um, that means that this is an automatically made album. That means that this album is created. Um, automatically based on certain rules. So you could uh, make an album, for instance, that says take all my photos from last year between May and June and it will make an album for you. Um, we're going to go into in-depth in that a little bit later, but for now I'm just going to show you how to make a very basic album and add like one or two things to it. So there's a small button uh, right at the top bar, right next to import, that is a blue book. If you click on that, a nice box will pop up, and it's going to ask you things like uh, what you'd like to name your new album. So I'm just going to call this um, just testing. You can call yours whatever you want. Um, you can give it a date. So uh, the reason why that's kind of handy is that if you want to find uh, something that happened on a specific date, or you can just remember the month that it happened, you can use this later to find um, to find exactly uh, when uh, to find to find your album when you can't remember the exact name of it. Uh, this can be handy when you're uh, dealing with like thousands and thousands of photos, but uh, if uh, you're not worried about that, just leave it what it's uh, what it's set as. So you can also um, add word what place it was taken and a description. Uh, the place that it's taken uh, can be interesting later on, where you can have uh, geolocated uh, photos, but uh, for now, just leave those blank. So you can just click OK, and uh, you'll see underneath albums if you look back onto the uh, the left hand bar. Uh, it says my the name of my new album, Testing. And if you want to add a album, uh, sorry, add a photo to an album, all you need to do is uh, go to your folders, right, uh, same on that left-hand bar, and now you can navigate through the folders just like we did earlier. But I'm um, just for now, I'm just going to pick a random photo, um, and then you can right-click on your photo that you want to use, and then you can go Add to Album. Now, when you go over top of Add to Album, it's going to pull out this uh, this nice little bar on the side, and it's going to display a list of all your albums. Now, right here, there's already an album that's called Testing, because I made that album, and you can just click on that, and it'll add it. Now, there's no confirmation that it's been added, so we can go up, back to Testing, 
And now when I click on testing, you can see that photo that I just added right there. Okay, so that brings us to uh, one of the more important parts of Picasa, not just making albums, but viewing photos. So now I'm just gonna pick a I'm just gonna pick a random folder folder here with a lot of photos, and I'm gonna open one photo. Now, as you can see, what, what you, the the way that you get to that photo is just by double clicking on it. And if you want to get back to the library, which is uh, where you can see all the photos, you can click the back button here at the top left. So uh, yeah, so going back into that photo now, what you can do is there's a lot of little things you can do with this. You can um, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can uh, you can uh, go to the next photo. If you can see right here at the top, there's arrows to go to new photos. Now, so this is pretty handy. Um, it's uh, just a nice way of seeing all your photos. But uh, now on the side, if you have any uh, problems with your photos, you can use some of these um, some of these touch up features on the side. Uh, I'm going to go through an entire video on just how to use these uh, features, so I'm just going to leave them for now, but just be aware that they're there. And so far, that's all there is for Picasa. Um, right now, you know how to uh, make quick albums, you know how to navigate through folders, and you know how to um, add photos to albums. I'm just going to leave it at that for this video, and uh, you can look on my playlist of other videos so that you can get more information. I'm going to be going over things like how to import photos, how to touch up photos, maybe a little bit on uh, geolocating photos, and uh, definitely some time on the face recognition software. So this has been Casey for Casey Coden, and I'm logging off.